Alright, let's clean up the poo. Oh, yes. Pestilence is way upon us. Alright. So there should be another one. Alright, that's Hanano. Yeah, lots of poo. Alright, collect the reward from Tretti. God, so much poo everywhere. This better be a good reward. Right. Tretti! Thank you, leader. My faith in you is justified. Okay. Right. Let's go ahead and do the sermon before I forget. Sermon? Hmm, yeah, it takes another sermon to get to the next one. Crown. So, we can do a fleece. Golden fleece take double damage. Uh, four tarot cards at the start of the run. Blue hearts replaced by 1.5 times the amount of blue hearts. Uh, curses deal double damage and cost half the fervor, but melee and health are halved. Uh, become poisoned after taking damage. Oh, uh, we can try that one. Seems overall a benefit, as long as you don't get hit. And then we can do this crown off. Uh, oh, what was I going to focus on? I'll do afterlife. Lay the dead to rest or the service is not yet over. Ritual of Resurrection. Perform a ritual at your temple that allows you to bring a dead follower back to life. Or, perform a ritual at your temple to conduct a funeral for a recently passed follower. Gain 20 faith. Nah. If you're in the cult, you're in the cult. There's no getting out of it. Ta-da. Hundred and fifty bones, bring a dead follower back to life. And not that much of a hit to faith either. But the question is, can you die of old age? Oh, that is a long cooldown on that. Or is it short because oh it's a short one because I'm almost done. Okay. Uh yeah, I don't need to do this yet. Well I don't have any dead followers actually, so I can't do that. And yes. Afterlife. So yeah, I've been going on the same track for all of them, apart from Law and Order. Alright. Uh, tabernacle. This. Right, so. Let's... Oh, you're back. Hello. I did it, leader. I retrieved what you're after from my missionary. I managed to find 24 stone. Sweet. Send off another one. Uh, so... Do we want meat? No, I'll get lumber next. So, 86, 90, 46, 82, 78, 78, 79, 81. Okay. So, 90 from Duzius. Lumber. What are we building? Oh, we need the refinery, of course. Yes. Right, so. Lumberyard, stone mine, refinery. Uh, let's do it to the side. More advanced structures require consecrated resources. Consecrated resources are made up of base resources. Unlock a build refinery to a be able to consecrate resources. Queue up an order at the refinery and a follow will automatically come to consecrate the resources for you. Oh, that's good. Reaper has died of old age. Nagra has the terrified of death trait. Uh, prepare for burial, harvest meat. But... Okay, well, thanks, Nagra. Uh, let's clean that up. Let's do the ritual. 
and bring them back. Ritual. Ritual of Resurrection. So now... Yeah, everyone's donning the hoods. Reaper is back. And... They are back. And they are back as not old. They're level 5. I've already inspired them. Extort. Okay. Give gift. Flower necklace. Follower will generate devotion faster. That's a big increase. Work for worship. Alright. So yeah. They die and they get brought back no matter what. <laughs> Sweet. Okay. Consecrate. So... Three lumber for one wooden plank. Yeah, so three to one. Oh, yeah, so that's, that's what we get the gold nuggets for. And then gold bars. Okay. Gold bars, gold bars. Lumber, lumber, lumber. Cures full. Okay. Well, so I don't do the consecration. The followers do it. Yeah, okay. Ah, oh, that's amazing that you can have followers, they die of old age, but you bring them back. That's great, I like that. I'm glad I picked that rather than um, the alternative, which would have just been like, oh yeah, increase faith. But you're, you're increasing faith almost organically through everything you do in the game, right? The only time you should really take a hit to faith is when things are seriously going wrong. Okay. Alright, again, might as well plant stuff while we're here. Oh, thank you. Uh-huh. Camellia seeds, camellia seeds. And then a couple berries. Okay. So we'll let the followers do that. Get the devotion. Summon demon. So now, Reaper should be a... Yeah. Reaper is a choice for a demon. More explosion damage. Okay. Alright, since it's night time, let's go to the Spore Grotto. Uh, we'll give the mushrooms to Sozo. And then that should be enough time passed to do another sermon for the next day. It feels like I've gone on a, a, a low amount of crusades or runs. Although, to be fair, because we had the crash, that meant that I'm less likely to want to do that. But we'll get back to it soon enough. Okay, so... Kin of Tarua. Uh-huh. And again, another thing is that the optimal path for uh, the tarot cards will be to just don't buy certain cards. Like, if you're not going to do adventuring at night, don't bother buying Weeping Moon. But I want to unlock everything so I can see everything. Uh, yeah, don't need that, don't need that. Oh, these are different. Carved pumpkin with a crown and a pumpkin pile. Those are definitely different. Let's go and talk to Sozo. Ooh, there's a jar here. Hmm, okay. Give item. Yes, yes, give Sozo, give Sozo, give Sozo. Excellent. Excellent, but not enough. Bring Sozo more and Sozo will show you how to brainwash those followers of yours. Sozo, suppose you want something for your efforts. Of course, Sozo always pays his debts. Take this. Holy Talisman Fragment. Okay. Bring Sozo. Ooh, one away. That kind of sucks. Hmm. 
Well, all I'm getting out of it really is a um, a holy talisman fragment. Oh. Okay. Camera shifted in a strange way there. Right, back to the cult. We'll do a sermon. I can do another uh, doctrine one, I imagine, because it should have finished the cooldown. But, yeah. I like this game. I think this is really a good game. It's interesting because you've got multiple save files and you've got the different doctrines that you can choose which path you want to go through. Like you can do the mix and match or you can choose a specific line to go through. Uh, so yeah, you can really vary up on future playthroughs as well. Oh, Tretti's got something. Leader, skeptics and heretics have made their way to a cult causing our way of life, but they want to join. Should we welcome them? Sure. Hello, dissenter. No, no. Okay, so you have 10 faith lost when falling ill, but heals faster when sick and in bed rest. So that's actually fine. Uh, let's make you a cat. And then you can be a bright purple cat. Except. Oh. Alright, speak to Nono. Uh, re educate. Didn't see their thoughts. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And then Tretti, because we've got the quest. Thank you, leader. My faith was justified. Right. Oh, there's not enough beds because we've got a, a new person now. Well, anyway. Sermon. And yeah, Barbados is now of old age. So. Zealous weapons. They will cause collected fervor to increase your divine inspiration bar. They will appear in your crusades. Is that better than Fervor the Righteous? The total amount of fervor allowing you to cast an additional one. Ooh. Okay. Merciless weapons have a chance of doing critical hits. Godly. Hmm. Okay. Being able to do more curses is kind of nice. An additional curse. Yeah. Okay. Right. Let's do additional curse. So that goes all the way up there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, so then crown. Is it still on cooldown? Yeah, okay, so it'll take another day probably for that. Alright. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's grab everyone as they're coming out. And spy. I already did you, Tretti. Uh, oh, I can't extort you. Sorry. Oh, you've already you've already been extorted. Thanks. Let's see. All right, who hasn't been blessed? Majul, you've not been blessed. Or inspired, rather. Thought. Leave them be. Heligos. Inspire. Reaper gets included. And then extort. Do the same thing for Reaper. Extort. Sweet. Alright. So Noma's doing that. Speak to Noma. Work. So they're doing refine. Yeah. Okay. So what I wanted to do is build. So I need five for the outhouse. Okay. Uh, 
<laughs> uh, build another... Oh, I need to build a shelter, not a bed. Yeah. Alright, let's replace that one that's broken. And I guess I'll make another one because it said that I'm lacking one. Oh no, it is just an upgrade. Right, well, we'll, we'll wait until they break then. So, bed can be there. And there as well, why not? Banana is no longer ill! Woohoo! Alright, no no is now on the outskirts. Okay. So oh. Okay. Alright, Barbatos, you good? Yeah, thanks, Hanana. Right, I think we're in a pretty good place in terms of our cult. So what we'll do is we'll gather this. We'll unlock the next thing, and then we'll go on a crusade. Uh, let's see. Cheaper rituals. Propaganda speakers. They work and pray 20% faster. Increase their loyalty. Oh, yeah, let's do this. Cheaper rituals is probably going to be a big thing the more, the later into the game you get. Because obviously, you're going to be doing that to get a bigger benefit overall for your followers. Alright, so let's go to Anura. And we'll do our third run. And I, I believe I'm still wearing a purple fleece to give me diseased hearts upon a tarot card pickup. I suppose I don't know how long poison lasts if I get hit, though. Like, if it's just until I kill all the enemies, then that could be bad. If it's just a set amount of time, then I'll have to deal with it if I get hit. Alright, what do we have? The axe. Apostix Cleaver. Divine Blast. Okay. Oh, Valifaz died of old age. Oh. That kind of sucks. Sorry, guys. I didn't realize you were on the verge of death. And the ritual's on cooldown as well, so I can't do it. Deal poison damage to enemy struck. 10% chance. Just do poison damage. 10% is 10%. Poison damage when struck is always. Alright, looks like two swings is enough for this stage. Oop. What do we have? Lapless's dice. Yeah, I can also already tell unless you can only ever get grass during crusades. I think that trying to grind for resources by destroying everything in a in a, a run, a crusade, probably will be like another thing of like, I want to just get through this, so I'm not going to spend the time doing that. Oh. Okay, so the poison did do damage to me, but I only lost the diseased heart I already had. And we'll save rolling Lapis' dice until I take another point of damage. Uh, okay, that was weird. I was stuck on the wall there. Oops. Okay. Right, so it seems like... Okay, so the poison damage is just taking care of heart in total. Which is obviously not great. Right. So yeah, Laplace's dice is actually going to come in handy quite a bit then, if that... Hmm. I don't like this fleece as much as I thought I would. Again, if you don't get hit, it's fine. But chances are, you're going to get hit. Hmm. 
But we can get health from chests as well. And we're essentially trading gold for that. But because we can do extortion, that's not too bad of a, a trade-off. Oh, dodge rolled into it. I suppose it's also the combination of the axe being short ranged and slow. Means I don't like it as much. Yeah, I have a feeling this crusade is not going to go well. But hey, we will find something out if and when we do lose this run. Really? Poo? Okay. Um, hmm. Well, ooh, what is that red crown? Let's go and see what the red crown's about. That seems like a unique event. So yeah, this is free resource gathering. Da, 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 da. Free resource gathering. Free resource gathering. Hanano has now reached old age. Oh, of course, there's still a dead body at the cult now. So, speaking of, pressing plus. So, I can't say. Oh, I can't save during a run. Which is probably why the game reset me back to the start of the day. So, the longer a crusade is, the more I have to keep in mind that it might take me a while to get back. Alright. So, this is the only path I've got. What is this? Pray. Your possessions will follow you through death. Oh. So, even if I die, I keep everything I've gained? That's handy. It's like a checkpoint system. Well, it's good that I chose that as this one, then. To the fight. Yeah, a diseased heart for taking a full heart of damage every time you get touched doesn't seem great to me. So I'll, I'll probably take that fleece off when I can. Let's do emotion. Chop it down. And no teleport point here this time. Yeah, not messing around in a room that uh, has multiple difficult enemies to take care of. Oh, we've got half a Nice. Is, okay, I was going to say, is that poison going to go away? A lamb flag statue. Do, 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 do. Oh, that place's dice is ready. Nice. And again, the benefit of a spirit heart is that that's the first heart that will take damage compared to the one and a half hearts I have now. Oh, that was it. Well, thank you for the easy room then. Just mowing the grass, putting it down. Alright, that's that. Uh, bullet hell. Okay, that's fine. Okay, that could have been worse. Yeah, I didn't take any damage for being close to them. So. Aha! When hit, spawn a tentacle that damages enemies on contact. Cool. Oh, they can do their own dodge roll. I like the the AOE effect. Oh. It was not so long ago that we cast out the Red Crow in a mere thousand or so years. The heresy it preached could not be tolerated, such noxious ideals. It could not be allowed. 
For this most damning of sins, the retribution must be slow and painful. I cast a famine upon your cult. And with greed and ambition unchecked, it drew godly blood. Oh no. So those guys are starving now. <laughs> 